Ken, we're at the IBM show, and you know I love Panasonic. Yeah. Tell me about these. So, so Mike, this is our new balanced home line of, of ERVs. And if there's one thing that's taken off in the building industry right now, in the residential building industry, and that's balanced ventilation, you're seeing it on all your codes, you're seeing it on all your energy codes, that whole package is becoming more driven towards balance. These four are unique in a couple of different ways. This is our Elite Plus series. These two are Elite Plus series. They'll go from 30 to 160 CFM of continuous or boost ventilation. And then over here, we have the Elite series, which is simply a 30 to 130 CFM application. The big difference between these two is gonna be the way that the frost prevention cycle works on this application. With this, I can do both recirculation or exhaust only. And why that becomes important is if I'm drawing air from uh, a bathroom, whether it's a, a, a powder room or whatever, if you only have a recirc function, your codes are gonna potentially bark at you because when you go into that frost prevention cycle, we can't allow that air to recirculate through the house. Logical, very logical. Logical. So now I can put this on exhaust only and I can use it to draw from a powder room bathroom or something along those lines. Now, I love that because I, I even think about the fires, you know, in California, that exactly. there's all kinds of fires. If you're drawing that weather in, you're bringing the smoke in. Right. So you can stop that if you want it. You can stop that. And also if you were using like a ductless heat pump technology, right, where I just wanted to recirculate heat or energy in my house. Let's say you have a big fireplace, right? And now you want to just recirc some of that heat energy throughout the house. Brilliant. I can come over here and just essentially turn my recirc on, let it run. I need one of these. Yeah. Yeah. Here's another fun. So I'm going to pop this open. Okay. I also love how easy these are to get into to service, right? I don't have to have swing arm room or anything like that. I can just pop it, pop it up, and I, and I have full access. And you're right in there. And you're right in there. A couple of other things that we've done. One is, let's say you as a builder are, are putting a number of these in and you wanted to go in and set them up. You literally could wire up one of the monitors and now you can just wire up a monitor, have it in your hand. You can walk from device to device to device. Do your setup. All is good. Put it right back in when you're done. Because you don't have to have a monitor in every house, right? Amazing. So so that's a great feature. This is a MERV 13 filter. Um, we like that MERV 13. It's it's one of the one of the best applications for PM 2.5 outdoor bad air. We talk about smoke or other potential issues. So also a MERV 6 on the research. So when it comes back into the device, I can pick up. Dust, plant, dog hair, cat hair, dog hair at my house, and more dog hair at my house. So I can capture all that with that. Um, I will tell you as a builder that I always like an inline filter box downstream. We talked about that. We did. Yeah, it's, it's just whatever we can do to make it easier for the homeowner to access filter is, a, is the best thing we can do. Always. And they can see it. Even homeowners can open this up. Exactly. It. Exactly. Is it dirty? Exactly. And how easy is it to clean? Well, to clean the core or the filter? The filter. So typically, replace it. To typically the paper filters, the supplier filters, we're going to replace. Okay. Um, I do have an option for a plastic MERV 6. I mean, you can use that and then you just clean it with soapy water and, you know, rinse well. The same thing with the return air filter. I can clean that too or just rinse it well. How often should you change the MERV 13? So that's always a fuzzy question because. Depends. And he goes, it depends, exactly. You know, at your house, how often do the trees blow pollen onto your car? Right. So, you know, there's all sorts of things that can happen that's going to alter the life of the filter. We've, we've both seen where you put a brand new filter and the next day your car is covered in yellow dust. You know that that pollen has migrated and, and, and caused problems with that filter. So it's a day old. Does it need to be cleaned or replaced? Yeah. So we love this application. Um, there's a top port a horizontal port, so I have vertical, horizontal, I have hardwire, or I have corded or corded applications, right? So it gives you as a builder, and this is, configuration is everything, the ERVs. We know that they're a, a larger box that so you're putting in the house. So we have to figure out ways to help you to install it, to install it right? So that it's, it's... Well, I put one in my uh, crawl space. Yeah. Because I don't have a basement, I have a crawl space. And uh, that... We used the perfect one. It was an easy install, and I love it. Yeah, yeah. It, the fresh air, you know, ERVs are about the occupant. It, you know, they're about high AQ, and that's what we want to do. We want to use that fresh air to the humans in the house 
products for health and safety and for exhaust the stale air, bring it in a fresh air. It's a really simple cycle. Real quick about the ERV core. This core is actually improved as well. One of the things we've done is we've narrowed down the air fields, right? The, the plane between. So there's three ways that heat energy transfers, right? We have conduction where the heat is against the cooler. We have moisture flow where it actually, it's like a twisted rope. You know how you can twist rope real tight, yet moisture will still flow through it. So you have that, that, that type of a system, which is we call them pores. Then they're very, very small pores, but then there's also the capillary. So there's three ways that heat moves across that core and it moves even more efficiently here. These are 82%. And then down here, we get down into 70, 70%. It's pretty remarkable how efficient these have become. That's why I love you guys. Yeah, yeah. Let's you make it right. We, we certainly try.